Hey guys, this is Dennis Brown from FreightBrokerBootCamp.com and today I'm bringing you another uh, Freight Broker training video and today we're going to talk about, I don't know if you've ever heard the expression, there are riches in niches. Okay, so you know what it talks about is when you start a business, no matter what industry you're in or no matter what business you're in, you know, you should be much more of a niche player than a generalist. So that's today what we're going to talk about. You know, there's an old saying, you know, jack of all trades and master of none <clears throat> is the sure fire way to failure. And so when I started my freight brokerage back in 2003, I found a very specific niche and I'm going to share with you today how I went about finding that niche and how you can go about finding yours okay the first part we want to start with is this <clears throat> you know riches are in niches getting started the first thing you want to do is assess your network who do you know do you know any shippers do you know any carriers do you know anybody in the logistics industry the second thing you want to do is assess your experience and your skills what have you done in the past have you been a truck driver were you a dispatcher are you coming from outside the industry assess your skills are you a salesperson are you more customer service and then number and then the third part is assess your passions and your interests what do you enjoy doing maybe there's an opportunity to incorporate one of your passions or interest into a niche market that you're going to be pursuing okay so that's number that's the first part <clears throat> part two is how to find your freight niche this is going to be more specific to the to figuring out exactly within the freight industry what niche is for you okay so niches come in different shapes and sizes you know you can niche you can find a niche by equipment type for example flatbeds <clears throat> vans reefers rgn's heavy haul you know those types of things you know different types of equipment you know you can specialize in those types of things you know for example if it's flatbed you know you would have lots of relationships with flatbed carriers and you would focus in on things like steel you would focus in on things like building products and that brings me to the next niche which is product based niche okay it's kind of a vertical you know some people like to haul produce some people like to haul steel some people like to haul plastics bottled beverages heavy equipment you know some people you know refrigerated foods perishables things of that nature so those are product based uh, niches the next one is by geography and a lot of people don't think about this but geography plays a, a, obviously a very very important role in logistics you know what are the lanes that are most relevant to you what niches do you see needing being filled so maybe it's Texas outbound maybe it's Chicago outbound <clears throat> something that's lane specific maybe it's cross-border freight in or out of Canada you know those are niches that you can focus in on because then it gives you a really strong place to start and then lastly is you know you can do hybrids you know you can do an equipment geography type mix you can do a product geography type mix you can mix those hybrids of one two or three like for example what I did and I've told people this story before when I first started I mixed I had a I had a hybrid approach I focused in on equipment type and geography so what I did was I focused in on van freight that was coming out of the Northeast so if it originated in the Northeast like New York PA all the way up through Maine and in Massachusetts that region the Northeast and it was going outbound all right if it was moving out of that area and it was going on a van that was my initial niche so you know what is your niche you need to figure that out I'm gonna give you a couple of strategies on how to do that first one of the most important things you need to do is do your research okay and this is really really important number three is do your research um, how do you do your research use load boards you know you can use load boards to supply, see the supply and demand trends of trucks versus loads you know you'll learn how to navigate those this, the load boards have gotten much better they've gotten much better tools than when I started 12 years ago or they're almost 13 years ago now um, secondly connect and ask carriers where they need help find out what regions what areas where they need backhauls find what areas where they're struggling to get their trucks loaded you know another great way is the third one here on the list which is tap into your industry trade groups and even your LinkedIn groups you know there are a lot of great logistics and transportation related groups um, 
on LinkedIn. So industry trade groups like the TIA and other groups and, uh, and LinkedIn groups. So that should give you a little bit of a basis here on how to find your niche. I told you a little bit about how I found my niche. What I strongly recommend is that if you're going to become a freight broker or a freight agent, obviously get trained. And as a part of that, after your training, you know, as you're putting together a plan, you know, you are going to want to find a niche and so I hope this helps you out last but not least just for watching you know you're gonna get a bonus just for watching you know it's my it's my ebook called the seven habits of highly effective freight brokers it's been downloaded over 5,000 times if you're serious or even remotely curious about becoming a freight broker or freight agent you have to have this book it's absolutely free you can get your copy at freightbrokerbootcamp.com www.freightbrokerbootcamp.com there'll be a link there or some sort of a pop-up where you'll see you can get the book for absolutely free so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did enjoy this uh, you know comment below put a comment below this video um, you know subscribe to my YouTube channel that would be fantastic that way you'll be notified every time you uh, you know I put a new training video up so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it have a great day and we'll talk to you soon Hey guys, I want to thank you for checking out my video here on YouTube or wherever you're watching it. If you guys are interested in getting more freight broker training for free, subscribe to my channel. Next to the video, you'll see a subscribe button here. Just click subscribe or you can navigate over to my channel here at youtube.com slash user slash freight brokers and click subscribe here and you'll be notified every time a new training video comes online. So thanks for subscribing. We'll see you soon.